Hello, today I'm gonna show you how you can wire up a keyless entry system for, in this case, a Z3 BMW 97. But it's the same for uh, E36s as well. Well, here we go. So, the system is basically like any other China mm, keyless entry. Uh, around $14 locally has a nice remote and let's see it in action okay so you press lock and unlock okay so the wiring is actually pretty straightforward although some people tend to make it seem complicated but for for having the basic central locking functionality, you only need to splice into four wires from um, ZTE4. This is the alarm module. So you basically need four wires here. And for the hazards, you need two additional wires here in the hazards button. So, let's come to this one. So, okay, this is the ZTE4 module. From the first connector, the black one, you need to go to pins uh, 10 and 15. Okay, so these two. Ten, pin 15 is the ground, this one, the brown one. And uh, pin 10 is the... Uh, power supply so you can splice into them whichever way you please I choose to uh, Solder but it's all up to you uh, I'm gonna Do the isolation later. I just left it here. So you guys can see now So this is for powering up the alarm module for uh, uh, The lock and unlock signal you need to go to the other one so in this case it's a purple but you might have it in yellow as well so for this one you have pins seven and uh, 14 so those are the two pins you need to uh, hook up to so this is one of them uh, white and red with a yellow strip and uh, brown and uh, blue with a yellow strip. So this, those two are the lock unlock. And those, you hook them up to your uh, alarm system. And uh, for the hazards, you need to connect to, so simply pull out the hazard button and you will have the white, uh, well, red, gray, and uh, brown blue so those two when connected they trigger the hazards simple as that and we use a simple relay this one to make that connection so basically what I did is take two wires tap into those two so this one gray and red and this one uh, blue and brown take the wires nicely here root them here and so here is a relay so it's a standard four pin relay you can use a five pin as well but the basic idea is you have the command of the relay which is pins uh, 86 and 85. So those are connected. One of them goes to the ground, which is the black one. And uh, the, this brown one is uh, uh, the plus 12 volts from the alarm. And those two are the pins that uh, you hook up, hooked up to here. So those two wires, uh, when this gets 12 volts, 
those two are being connected and therefore producing the hazards flashing that you need. So this system, the central locking system, going back to that, is uh, uh, based on 12 volts, so it's positive trigger. So for these two outputs, this two, those two, you need to go to, so use the positive trigger scheme and it will basically they're all the same you have negative trigger positive trigger so on positive trigger you the first and the, the fourth uh, wires are not connected therefore in this case all those are not connected i cut them and i'll isolate them later you have lock signal and unlock signals those are two the two wires that we splice to from the second connector and 12 volts so which is what will be feeding to those wires which are in this case those two yellows that are connected to the power supply so basically that's about it just trim them all to all unused to a proper size isolate them and put it all back together neatly so the end result you will have a nice working central unlocking it will even use uh, so you will see the hazards in the dash as well okay that's it hope this video helps bye